It's true. Check mic. Check mic. Oh. <laughs> want to be comfy. Feel like super close to you. You don't want to be super close to me? Maybe we'll just put it on. Yeah, I thought it would be a bit easier. What is going on? Welcome to our first podcast. Our first real official podcast. Yeah, it's been a long time. <laughs> when was it? November last year that we... No, I think it was May. <laughs> Bullshit. <laughs> yeah. Is that right? Um, should have done this beforehand. Yeah, you should have. Come here. There you go. All right. Is that, is that right? Yeah. Yeah, it was, it was May because I was getting into Master Resale Rights. Right. Yeah. And we outfitted this room down that end with new curtains, these chairs, and we got these mics to do it. Um, and now that's a playroom. Then we had a baby. Well, we already well, had we, him. we had the baby, but <laughs> he started getting older and more needy and uh, our eight-year-old as well. So... We've just been busy. Yeah. And it was like, uh, get to the end of the night and you're exhausted. I'm sure so many parents can relate. And yeah. you don't really want to do a lot. Yeah. You just want to melt into the couch. <laughs> so I guess that's why we're doing this podcast because we know that there's so many people out there like us and we just think that we've got a good story to tell. Yeah. So far. Maybe um, we should start with our names. Oh, well, I'm James or Jimmy as a lot of people and I call myself. And I'm Jasmine, or Jazz. My beautiful wife. Yeah, hubby and wife. Uh, both 34, Something. <laughs> about to be 35. Yeah, mid-30s. Yeah. We're actually two weeks apart, so. Yeah, we're coming into birthday season. Mm. Um, yeah, and we just don't want to make this boring, so. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want it to be boring anyway. No, no one, no one will watch us. But, um, we'll t- yeah. Swipe up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, this is our podcast. Um, well, maybe, you know, like, why do we think we should do this? And I, well, I think it kind of stems from often at night we have conversations and banter where we think we should be filming this. We, yeah, so we, we have both been in and out of our own businesses since 20... Like mid-2020? Mid-2020, yeah. yeah. Well, I have been um, self-employed in my own massage business yeah. for a long time. Yeah. Do you want to talk about what you, like a quick like overview of your, what you do? Oh, you know that 60 Second About Me is my worst <laughs> nightmare. <laughs> Come on. Yeah. It, we'll get there. We'll get there. Okay. So so, we'll leave him hanging for that one. No, but what does Jimmy do? No, but like, <laughs> let's let's go back to this is why we're doing this is because we often just have conversations at night about business or family or life just in general, just ex- from our own experience. You know, like fuck, if we were if we were filming that, like it would be like it'd be amazing content. Mm. So. Yeah, it would literally have to be filming ourselves all the time, though. Yeah, you've just got to put up with the bullshit in between. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, so that's that's why we decided to do this podcast. Yeah, for sure. Now, about me, how far do I go back? What do, what do I do? Like Maybe like what you currently do? Or... So, <laughs> I work for full-time for a large defense contractor i'm currently in a very specialty engineering function of that and i'm part of a uh, pilot program for ai for the big defense company i'm also work on other things in there i won't go i won't delve into it too much but then i also on the side um in my spare time have an ai integration business or company that I build AI and automation infrastructures for 
small businesses or small medium enterprise businesses. So, um, and you know that that can be anything. So we s- might start with adding a um, speed to lead AI system. So any lead inquiries or potential client, uh, potential customer inquiries go through the website and it's all handled by AI and it just cuts out that whole process of owner or um, the the employees having to deal with that whole process. So, you know, we're, we're cutting out hours of uh, time for the business. So, huge savings. Um, then that goes right up to big automation builds. So, yeah, that's that's what I do on the side as well as running and operating a family <laughs> Along, alongside Jack. Do, do you have the same 24 hours as everyone else? Like, how do you do all that? Uh, yeah, of course I have the same 24 <laughs> hours. I get a lot of sleep. <laughs> oh, I think um, that was kind of part of the reason why we wanted to do this was because what you do is actually really incredible and it's just trying to really make people understand how much this vehicle can really vehicle can really work yeah. for a lot of businesses yeah um and it can like i mean even last night if i can just use the quick little example i used was how much you could calculate how much it costs for a va to like go through say and qualify your leads versus using a software yeah that does it like it's insane but i think we'd have to like dedicate a full episode. A full episode. Or... It'd be after we kill that dog next door. Yes. No, we won't do that. <laughs> and then they find us on the internet. <laughs> they are neighbours. Yeah. 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 So uh, I, I think that we and I would have to dedicate a full. Yeah. 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 And like sexify it. Yeah. Well, that's going to be the hard part. <laughs> no, we for me you know. well yeah it's like yeah of course it's like technology and nitty gritty but it's actually pretty cool what you can do yeah yeah for sure look just saving businesses tons of time and therefore money yeah by implementing simple robust systems that are proven in the everyday world yeah and like so, we've seen it yeah we've got now e-commerce client real estate client it's just yeah yeah it's going off absolutely cool so more about us so how long have we been together um 17 years oh yeah 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 17 years yeah 17 years so it's half our life half our life yep almost so that's how long we've known each other we've been married for 10 um coming up to 11 in like oh, six yeah. weeks may the 4th yeah yes yeah so almost 11 years yep. we kind of skipped our 10th because we had a newborn yeah which was the big one so i feel like this is going to be the big one i think so we can definitely make it the that. 10th yeah. 11th <laughs> yeah um and he's currently just sitting up at the moment <laughs> a newborn <laughs> well now he's one <laughs> he's one now um I might, um, I might just go get him. Here, hang on, hold my mic. <laughs> Do you want to cut it or just let it roll? Three hours later. I'll have some too. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think that that's fair. All right. So enough about us. <laughs> <laughs> Save that that's, one. About me. So, yeah. Yeah. Let's hear about you. Um. Jasmine. Yeah, who am I? So, Jazzy. Um, I guess going back, I am a remedial massage therapist by trade. Um, And I did that for a really, really long time. And then I also became certified as an infant massage instructor. Then in 2020, we started getting into selling digital products online. And that's where, for me, it all really changed. I went from... um, going into a clinic and seeing clients to making money through digital products and online physical products and online. Um, I think our whole selling online journey needs to be covered because it is 
massive. Like sometimes I even forget parts of yeah. where we started. I know. Which was Amazon. We was. We started with Amazon, Amazon first. Amazon FBA. Yeah. And James brought it to me in I think 2019 actually. It the was, end of 2019. Yeah. 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 So we started Amazon FBA, moved into selling. It was 2019 that we started. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Yeah. We actually made the purchase for our first round of products. On, on New Year's. No, no. Christmas Eve. Oh, was it Christmas? Yeah. 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 It send on all that money. <laughs> <sighs> um, so yeah, started Amazon, moved into physical products. Yeah. It would have been considered. Yeah. So... Enagic. Well, Enagic, yeah. yes, was the company. It, it's a kind of high ticket affiliate marketing style with a bit of like MLM in it. Well, it's like direct it's, sales. It's direct yeah. sales. But yeah, you you get paid when people under you make sales. Also make so sales. like it's, yeah. Look, it was great. Like we oh, made a lot of money in it. We made, we made, yeah. A lot of money in it. Yeah. And it also taught us. A lot. So much. Personal branding. Yeah. Um, so much. Yeah. Yeah. How to sell sales. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. It was, yeah, it was great. Um, and yeah, so I ended up leaving my massage business and to focus fully on what we do, but also, um, you know, I guess focusing on our family too as well. Mm. Um, and is that for another whole episode? That, that <laughs> is really for another whole episode uh. as well. And it's just kind of snowballed from there. Yeah. So at the moment, I focus more so on my own personal brand with, um, I've created an online course for infant massage. I also um, do the digital marketing for a skate shop and I help you. One of Brisbane's biggest skate shops. Yeah, it's Brizzy's best skate shop. <laughs> um, and also help you. Yeah. But also we have a very young family as well. Yeah. Yeah. And just full on all the time. Full on all the time, 100%. So that's really, that's me. That's, yeah. It feels like a very quick wrap up, but I feel like diving into it deep would be a lot of fun. It would be. I, I think that we should do like a brief overview of family. Now? Yeah. Okay. Right. So we've got three children but only two that you'll ever see. So we've got Pippa, our oldest daughter. She's almost not, she's nine this year. Yeah, at the moment. we've got Ezra who is one. With, who's one. And then in between them, we've got William who would have been six this year. Well, he's six. He would be seven this year. He would be year. seven this yeah, year. Yeah, seven this year. So Jazz fell pregnant 18 months after when Pip was 18 months. Yeah. Um, perfect pregnancy. Everything went smooth. I mean, you, you raised a few questions and queries that he, he wasn't a huge mover. The, yeah, the but, only difference was he didn't move as much yeah. as my Pip But you, you raised it. They said there was no issues. So yeah. essentially perfect pregnancy. Yeah. Um, pregnancy came along. Um, he, you know, went into labor. We're up hospital. Everything was smooth As and then he showed signs of not moving as he was coming out and went to emergency, uh, it was an emergency Caesar, yeah. got him out and he couldn't breathe on his own. So he got rushed off to another hospital. He was incubated straight away from just, birth. Just crazy, like crazy story, like this is very like um, sped up but... Yeah. Um, so, and then he was in hospital well, for 65 days, 65 total. days. We were up there every day with him, um, with the doctors that, who were trying to find a, a reason, a, a reason yeah, or yeah. a so solution or just what, what was actually going on. Yeah. Um, de determined. It's seven oh, weeks old. Seven weeks it was. Yeah. yeah. So we had like a lot of tests. A lot of... It was just testing every... Not every day, but, like, it almost seemed like every day. Like yeah. It was... They start pretty basic in these situations and then sort of gets a little bit more serious and then they decided everything was coming back negative and fine. Yeah. Chromosomes, conditions they tested for and decided to do genetic testing. Yeah, and um, turns out that he had an ultra-rare genetic uh, mm -hmm. condition that 
didn't allow his muscles to properly form in his whole body and therefore that's why his the muscles in his lungs couldn't um, expand properly so he couldn't breathe on his own and we were faced with the ultimate decision to either withdraw care or we could have opted for uh, another route which just it wasn't an option for us um, and to to try and prolong his life and with Pippa at 18 months old and uh, it just we were 28 years old at the time you know it's not where you think you will be at 28 years old we don't have to justify our decision at all oh, but no, like never. but but it was we know that we made the right decision yeah. mainly for him so yeah. um yeah we ultimately had to terminate um his care his, his we care so his care. yeah um and it, it it's just become part of our story like we fought every day for him um and just stayed strong and pushed through it like e pushed through every single day got up went went through it jazz it was just it completely flipped jazz like you're right yeah, <laughs> yeah. i'm fine yeah yeah. I was curious, like, how it flipped me. Oh, like, you know, you're expecting it to, oh. a pregnancy to go this way and it just com completely went yeah. the opposite. Like, you just never expect with a perfect pregnancy that you're going to ha have a child that, that has an issue like that. Like, it's just... And it was, you know, it was, it was a hu huge issue, so to speak. But like, you know, it was a very rare, very serious genetic condition. Yeah. It's like one in 50,000 boys are born in Australia. Yeah. So about approximately 10 a year. Yeah. And it's irreversible. Yeah. It's, it's done. It's like, you know, the, I think the best thing that like... The best analogy. The analogy that I was yeah. ever told in hospital was that it's like baking a cake and... You, you've made your cake and you've thrown it in the oven, you've cooked it, and then you've gone, oh, I forgot to throw the flour in. Yeah. But it's cooked. You, you can't put that flour in now. No. And that was, like, the best way to kind of ever explain it to me. Like, it yep. was it was decided, and it was actually decided at con conception. There was never anything we could do. And, yeah, it was the hardest thing we've ever been through. Yeah. It really was. It's, it's... It still is. Yeah, over a prolonged period of time, for sure. It like, was endurance, wasn't it? It was. it was. And it was showing up every day. Yeah. You had no choice. You just had to do it. And people yeah. would say to us, I don't know how you're doing it. And it was like... We don't have a choice. We don't have a choice. Yeah. Would you just not? Yeah. So... Um, Although we did see a lot of that in the hospital. It's Yeah, it's a tough place, Niku. Um, however, it taught us a lot too. Yeah. You know, it, like often we say if William hadn't come along or had of he not been past the gene and been okay, would have we, because we were just kind of cruising in life prior to him. Hey, like it was, we've always like, been happy, like well-paying we, jobs. Yeah, but we were just comfortable as well. Yeah. And I, and I think like, I think if you're comfortable in life, you probably got to like expect a bit of a shake up. Like, yeah. And I think that's the other thing too that I also have heard that, um, often it takes people to hit the bottom to make a change. Mm. And it's actually one of the hardest ways to learn. What it like? Hitting the bottom. Oh, Instead yeah. of saying, you know, like, while you're at the top, I'm going to make the change now. Yeah. But you hit the bottom because you've got no choice, you yeah. make the change, you yeah. know. But it just it just showed us what was important, what we wanted. It just We just yeah. really... A lot of decisions after that, even with venturing out our own businesses, have yeah. been made because, because of, of William. Yeah. yeah. Because it was so, we then, so then it was not long after that that I read Barefoot yeah. Investor. Yeah. Which is a great book. Like if you, if you haven't you, read it, if you haven't read Barefoot Investor just and, read it. and you have any sort of financial issues it, it'll change don't even have to have issues like if you just want to get better financially True. like yeah. if you just want to like if you're just like oh, i want to start killing it yeah mm. yeah so he says in the book like you know you can go and you can sell stuff that you don't use anymore there's all these options for creating 
extra, extra money. income to, you know, kick kick your debt or whatever. And one of them was start a business. And I, and I just like, it then kind of clicked for me. Like I was like, well, that's just the path that I need to do. So I'm, you know, still here getting a business off the ground again. And like, it's just... Well, we, we have changed paths on businesses and I have to... Many times. <laughs> <laughs> How many times? Uh, have we tried it? Yes, we have. <laughs> no, it's not quite that level. Not that bad. But... It's not that bad, but we have tried a few different businesses. But I think you got to... And what you when you see someone successful, what you don't hear is all the things they tried that failed. Yeah. And that's, that's what true. you just got to remember. Not that anyone's failed. Oh, no, well, failings are learnings. Cleaning oh, company? Yeah, that, that is something I can't wait to talk about because I have so much to say on that. <sighs> oh, shit, that was hard. Yeah. Um, yeah, so we've, we've tried a fair bit. Yeah, but also like to, you know, I think like just we digress a little. Yes. Through all of William, what we discovered was that I actually carry the genetic condition mm. um, and that was how he was given that gene and that was something that i never knew like i yeah. didn't, i had no idea and um it also made me aware of that it's quite common that we do carry genetic conditions conditions that can be passed on it just depends how that yeah. will be passed on so it only required myself to pass it on um and in the case of a boy being conceived it would he'd either be affected or unaffected and yeah we, it's very it's, technical. It's to, very technical to and understand. genetics and like kind of raising awareness for that is definitely not something that I'm passionate about. I'm more um, lost my train of thought. It's not even like go and get checked, like because you don't know. There's just so many you things can go, out there. You can go and get genetic oh, I, testing. I know, but like, but it's up. <laughs> Is it there's some great like Instagram pages out there if it's something that you really want to like yeah. that, that, that advocate for it. Yeah. I'm more like about the neonatal loss. Yes, you are. Yes. You're a big advocate for that. Yes. Yeah. Um, and you've you've become friends with a lot of mums that have experienced it. Yeah. Because loss. of that and yeah. helped and yeah, pushed through together. Yeah. Yeah. I have. Yeah. Yeah. So... It then, you know, like, so after that, so Pip was, she, she turned two, um, just before we lost him. Yeah. It was. And then we had basically decided that we weren't going to try again. We were just like, we were two. Oh, like in, not to sound like rude or crude, like I was pretty off kids. Yeah. Like not my own, but like having, having more, more yeah. it just, um, when you go through such a traumatic event and loss, I guess my reaction to it was is that I actually didn't want to be around babies. Yeah. Um, not in a negative way. It was just, it, 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 I was so spent. Yeah. I really was. I was so spent, but yeah. so were you. We were so spent. Oh, yeah. And I had to do a lot of work on myself and after we had, William. we had counselling, like, yeah. through through the... Uh, like, genetic counselling. Genetic counselling. Yeah, we had genetic counselling. Yeah. They sort of, they just wanted they us to They advised us against it for a while or, like... Yeah, I think, well, because I had a cesarean and... Yeah. Uh, but I think, too, they really wanted us to understand what our avenues were. Yep. And what to do. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. What to do. So, yeah, we just chilled. We did. And so then what ended up happening was a seven-year gap with no – or no, well, it wasn't a seven-year gap. It was a five-year gap. So Pip was – When Ezra was born? Yeah. No, it was a seven-year gap. Really? So yeah. he was born the start yeah, so, of last year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So she, yeah. She was seven and a half. Of course. Yeah, that's right. Um, seven and a half year gap with not real, like, on her own. Like, she was the only child. So she she's had all this focus and attention on her. And then we've dropped this baby in because... She, <laughs> the, 
<laughs> it's ridiculous. The, the, the deciding factor for us to go again was her crying in her bedroom saying, I wish I had a sibling. And we were like, yeah, look, we've kind of been thinking about it. And, you know. I, I think at the end of the day, like I said, he was like, you know, it's such a big discussion, like this whole thing. But like we decided when Pip was five that we did want to try and add another one. Yeah. And it was just such a long process. It, well, yes, it was. It, en it ended up being. Like, we didn't know being. it was going to yeah. be this long. But I said to you, you know, we were like 33 at the time, approx. Yeah. Yeah. I said to you, if we got to 40, would you regret it? And I said, I if, would you regret at least trying, like, like giving it all we got? Yeah. And you and I kind of decided that we probably would. Yeah. Yeah. And she really wanted a sibling. Yeah. Now, obviously, now he's here. There's going to be days she's not going to want a sibling because he doesn't listen. <laughs> he grabs everything. Ah, oh, he's a terrorist. He's it, full on, like, boys are just yeah, he's different. so different yeah. to girls. Yep. It's not what we expected. And you know what? I feel like it, it would have been crazy, like, with her at 18 months and a, and a newborn like it yeah it would have yeah yeah it would have been nuts I sympathize with any parents that are currently going through that uh, i i definitely look you know just to say like i have like a lot of things i remember from back then and i remember someone saying to me about a seven-year gap or around about that and I was like, oh, no, I, like, I would never do that. Mm. Like, I, I, like, I swore that I would never do a big gap. Yeah. I was like, no way. Yeah. Like, that's just not happening. But I love it. Yeah. Oh, it, it is good. But and it's it, hard. Like, it, I don't think it's as hard as, like, a newborn and a two-year-old, though. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Because, well, yeah, he's right. We don't know. We haven't done both. We kind of have. Yeah. But we did the hospital. Yeah, we were in hospital. Yeah. And obviously, like, you just have the craziness all grow up together. But, you know, we have this, like, one of our children is so independent and can do so much with us. We can have these intelligent, amazing conversations. And, and we help. Have, and she's so helpful. And she's also at school. Yeah. Yeah. But then, obviously, the other one, you get the flip side of it where you have this little child that needs so much. Mm. But it's also so nice. Yeah. But he's starting to run around now and stuff and yeah, he's, he's steal getting... stuff and run off. <laughs> These are the days we just look back and wish they were here. I you know. know. Yeah, I feel like where was all this going again? I feel like we've digressed massively. It's a constant digression. It is, isn't it? Because we can't tell our whole story in like in a linear fashion. Like it's just... It's so deep. Maybe mm. we should leave it there. Ooh. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun. Ask one question. Okay. Just so choose one. Just one to yeah. you. So ah. James got these ready. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ask me. He hasn't peaked, I'm told. Okay. <sighs> this is oh, okay. Let's just go for this. Oh, no, I like this one. If you were an animal based on your morning routine, what would it be and why? Um, a kookaburra. Yeah. Because I get up and I just go straight to work. I really like that. Those motherfuckers are up at 4 a.m. Yeah, we hear them. <laughs> <laughs> Laughing. Yeah. Because they're going to work. They're happy. They're catching the, their first worm. Yeah. Or what do they eat? First. Theo. <laughs> uh, not a yelp that's is a, it that's a, another story sorry do you yeah. want one more well what would you be it's actually a really cool question it is a really cool question I, I actually don't know like what is an animal that just like gets up and plows through the morning because she has to <laughs> <laughs> A mama bear. Mama bear. Mama polar bear. Through that snow. Yeah. Because that's just what I do. I mean, I'll let you. I'll let you call that one. But yeah, 
if you got to base it on your morning routine, yeah. Well, I pretty much just get up and get the kids ready. Yeah. I feel like my morning doesn't start till nine though, mm. because once I'm done all that, yeah. now we start. Yeah. Yeah, it is hectic. Looking forward to that coming down. One more. If you could have any superpower just for today, what would it be and why? Oh, I don't like the superpower question. I, yeah. Because I don't, I don't know all the superpowers. I mean. Well, I guess you could <clears throat> make it up. I want to say, like, tell the future, but I don't want to tell. I don't want to know the future. No, no. Nah. I agree. Um, like. <laughs> Silence. <laughs> I think it was on Family Guy and they had. He like someone had claws. It was Meg. She had claws, and they just came out to here. <laughs> she was like, <laughs> <laughs> well, "What? What are they gonna do?" Exactly. That's the whole joke. Oh. Um. I don't know. Like, like super brain power that mm. you can just like uh, super brain power and super focus. Mm. Ultra focus. Ultra focus. Yeah. Yeah. I thought you were going I mean, to say. I'm, I'm working on that now, but that that's a whole environmental change as well. <laughs> I thought you were going to say something like pausing time, so like everything else around you stops, but you keep going. Oh, well, that sounds amazing. Yeah, that's yeah. cool. That's a good one. I'd I'd roll with that. I know what mine would be. Oh, I thought that was yours. Oh, no, no, no. I thought that was what you would say. No, I'm taking that. Yeah, you can have yeah. that. I'm going to go with invisible. <laughs> 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 and I'm just going to sit there and just be quiet and just enjoy. Yeah, well, you can be invisible sitting there all invisible and quiet while I've paused time. Working away. Yeah. Yeah, sounds good. Yeah. Awesome. Do you want another one? Are we done? No, nah, we're done. Okay. All right. On that note, hope you enjoyed. Doesn't really matter if you didn't. <laughs> um, I don't know. I, I guess it depends where we post this, how we post this. We start a new YouTube channel. We yeah, guess... start, oh, I've got the Jimmy and Jazz YouTube channel. We could figure it out. Yeah. Um, yeah, all right. Weekly uploads, daily uploads, I don't know. If you watch it, let us know. If you were still watching, I mean, thanks for watching. <laughs> if you stuck yeah. around to the end. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. No. It's only going to get better. Like Honestly. But from people's feedback. Yes. I'm, I'm not the best in front of the camera. Jazz is amazing. She teaches me a lot, so. I think you've done really well. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> I didn't do that. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. Right. I know. I think you've done really well. Um, we'll just see how it goes from here. I'll get it in, hoping that rain hasn't like... I know. I've been thinking that too the whole time. And this one drip out here. Oh, <laughs> shit. All right. Well, look, we'll run with it. Do you it. have any questions for us? Yeah. I mean, Comment. all the things that we've kind of touched on and then digress from, if you want us to go deeper on. Yeah. Let us know. Like, yeah, we're here. Yeah. Awesome. Maybe we should do nightly. Every night we just sit in here and just chat. Well, we do it anyway. We could just film, film our yeah. chats. You're just like probably going to have to expect me in my pajamas. Oh, that's right. Yeah. yeah. And a cup of tea. Actually, I was planning on getting a cup of tea for this. All right. All right. Let's roll. See ya. Bye. Thank you. Bye. I hope it's still recording. I was thinking that. I didn't want to say it. Oh, I never pressed play. <laughs>